did it. Yep. Oh, I had a very bad launch, I think. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh. Uh, that was a close one. That was a close one. Well, you saw it here first, folks. The first person to beat me on camera at Beyblades. Oh, no way. I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. You see the ear first. <laughs> that was a bad launch. I could feel it. But welcome back to Acid Switch. My name is C2C. I got my buddy John with me. Here I am. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Here we are. And uh, we're going to try to make a podcast. John and Sita make a podcast. Uh -huh. I've never been and on a podcast before, but hey. It's easy. We're going to, we're going to, well, we're going to try to make it easy. And, uh -huh. uh, and yeah, I guess, do you want to introduce yourself at all? They kind of got to know me a bit over the course of these videos, but if you want to introduce yourself at all, feel free, man. Let them know what you're about. Oh, yeah. Let them know what My you got going on. My name is John. I like fishing, kayaking, doing all that kind of stuff. I mean, if we're outdoors, it's better well spent than indoors. I'll tell you most of the time. Unless it's the middle of winter, because you know how cold it gets here in <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy went camping out in the middle of winter, though. Like He's he's actually one of those people, though, that I, I wouldn't be too surprised if he did it at some point. Actually, one time me and my friends, it was December, I think, like, 2016 or something like that. Yeah. And we went camping, I think it was, like, December 20th or around that Dang. time. And, man, it got down to, like, negative four actual temp while we were camping out. And, ooh, it was cold. But that, no, it, that's... Because we're in the Midwest. It gets, like, negative every winter. It's no joke. It's a dry cold, icy cold. Once that and, wind starts blowing, too. Oh, mm -hmm. just, yeah. yeah. Way cold. Yeah, that, that cold on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> cold, cold on the cob. That's that cold on the cob, baby. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to drink to that. We're drinking truly in the studio. <laughs> Cheers. Dude, he's got the... John's got the... What is it? Man mango man chili. Mango chili with a little bit of spice. Uh -huh. One of my favorites. And margarita style to it. Margarita it's not style, bad at truly. All. I got the watermelon cucumber, my classic favorite. Shout out to Truly, they're dope. I like Truly. Mm. It's a good beverage, good podcast beverage. If I all do right. say so, we do it every time. Smooth. <laughs> but yeah, man. As far as the podcast goes, um, we should do another Beyblade battle. I'm not gonna lie, this Beyblade, dude, you should try it. It's it's a little, it's a little, it's a little flimsy when you launch it. So I'll we should, we'll do, we'll do it. We'll do another one with, with different Beyblades, but, um, I do have some topics to get into shortly. John's going to let us know, um, some of his ideas and maybe take us on, you know, some kind of like journey, a, a vision, a vision quest, if you will, if we get uh, to that point. I don't know if you're ready, Chris. <laughs> I, I don't think I am. I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody watching is either, but make sure to like, and subscribe, uh, if you're watching this or leave a comment, if you, uh, you know, relate to any parts of it, or if you have any questions at all really just let me know or if you think i look like a dumbass i mean please oh yeah especially me because most of the time i do <laughs> right <laughs> right down in the comments right down in the comments just put it right there but uh the studio is looking nice you've you've been to the studio but you haven't been here since i put everything on the wall have you oh it looks fantastic Thank at first you. i was questioning the purple and now i'm with everything up it's, it's slick it's just a lot like of color it. yeah, yeah. And i got the free young thug shirts in the background also uh oh yeah i was gonna speaking of shirts ah uh, shoot we got you a shirt on the cob home on the cob <laughs> which might possibly be coming soon to a c2c merch store near you oh, yeah. Dude, man, throw throw pl plenty of butter on that cop. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Dude, imagine putting that on a shirt. Just put some butter on me or something. Like some <laughs> phrase like put some butter on it or I don't know. Let me slide. <laughs> Let me slide. Yeah, just a stick of butter. Let me slide. <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad, actually. All right. You wanna? Did you try that big I haven't tried it yet. I oh, we did you want to burst me with it or did you just want to try it? Let's go to combat. All right. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, dude, no, you beat my ass with it. Dude, oh, John's bad. actually just the master Beyblader. Uh, I am sorry. I actually was mistaken. I thought I had a bad launch. I actually went to college for Beyblade. Dang, man. How many years? Or did you graduate? Nah, dude, I dropped out of that oh, shit. It was well, too easy. I mean, at least you went. I mean, it's more about what you know, you know? <laughs> you that. like i just have a faulty launcher that would suck if i had a faulty launcher i don't think i do right let me is. see let me get some of my 
my topic's ready though but no john and i have known each other since the way back we've uh, we went to high school together we've known each other for like what like 12 years probably or something like that i would guess yeah i mean when we meet freshman year back in yeah i think so 2000 that would have been 2008 right because 2009 is when we graduated 10 is when we graduated 10th grade 11 is when we graduated junior year and then no, no, never mind. I'm just but imagining like the, the just, meme with the woman with the numbers in front of the, all the numbers. And she's like, what? yeah, yeah because just, I was I was entirely a year off. I went goldfish uh, mode for a second. And I'm supposed to be a machinist to know about my numbers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the ten thousand. But yeah, no, we um, yeah, we've known each other since like, cause it's 2022. We met about like 14 years ago or something like that. Then yeah, that, that's dope, man. Appreciate uh, you. Sticking too, around, definitely always a nice buddy to talk to. He got a lot of stories, a lot of a lot of interesting uh, ways of looking at things too, in a, you know a way that's level-headed but also open-minded. And I can appreciate that. I know that uh, I can bring you on you. a podcast like this and ask you about certain things without um, you saying something that's gonna be like really messed up or like offend people. I might at say all. something off the wall, but it's hey. just gonna be like. Why do you think that way? Like, it's come on, not man. gonna. Yeah, you're not trying to hurt nobody though at uh, all, for sure. Nah, dude, yeah. I, I love all humanity. Of course, even yeah. the bad ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's how you should be. But um, no, yeah, we um, man, I totally forgot what I was about to say. But um, no, I do have um a podcast question that I personally thought of, and then I'll get into some that I was asked by a few of our viewers, but. One that I was asked, it wasn't asked me, they were, they didn't tell me to specifically ask you, but, um, or, I am. um, as far as the other ones that the viewers asked, but I'll go ahead and do so. But the one that I thought of is what is the, one of the best or worst ways somebody can make money as in like, what's like a, a dumb idea you've heard somebody come up with to try to make money or a really good idea that you're just like, dang, why didn't I come up with that? If you can think of any um or like what's the way that you uh, have done yourself maybe that would surprise a lot of people maybe like like maybe it's not something that you still use to make money today but like something that just like kind of like yeah i did that you know you know the craziest way that i've seen people make money and like yeah it, it's consistent for a certain like group you know selling pictures of your feet uh <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand it how, get, do, how do you do it if you can get the money then and you know where to sell the pictures i think you should like right. period i would if i could i mean oh, yeah. my feet are some rare feet i got all kinds of weird tattoos on them oh yeah you got sleepy like, kirby and hey stop looking at my feet bro <laughs> my bad, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm <just playing. laughs> let me hold the wall <laughs> uh, uh, but no like i i wonder about that too like where you get started doing that and um yeah not like i'm trying to do it myself but i just wonder like how do people get started doing that kind of thing i've never really looked into that doing it myself because if it's feet i guess theoretically anybody could get into it themselves I mean, yeah i mean start selling your socks for like a hundred dollars a pair like, i don't think anyone wants my socks shit. I, I, they all I, I look the want, same I just, I just want a sock fund because my socks always go missing i'm not quite sure but <laughs> somebody's been making more racks off you bro <laughs> right dude somebody's got a little bit of more insight than we do and they they're like oh that's one of we'll get right into some of the viewer questions let's see what i got here oh i actually one of these viewers you know i won't put him on blast but his name's nick okay yeah 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 our buddy nick yeah shout out to nick hey shout out nick i'll be sending him our videos too i think he'd be watching them sometimes too oh what is one food people think is good and you don't if you can think of any and do Ooh. you know why uh I, I definitely do not like sweet potatoes sweet potatoes huh yeah See, like sweet potato fry i mean don't get me wrong in the mesh marshmallow div it's like is tolerable i had a girlfriend and she loved sweet potatoes so like i pretended to for a little while yeah and then there's one time we went to stone city and uh yeah she ordered them and she's like don't you want any sweet potatoes and i it seems like a real <laughs> simple thing but i i had to break the news to her i, I told her i don't like them and she's like that I, was thought the you loved them. <laughs> I thought you loved them <laughs> you're like i can't have her thinking i like this shit man right, dude. <laughs> she's gonna like try to get them at our wedding or whatever <laughs> dude <laughs> main oh. course 
Do, do you think your family likes anyone in your family likes sweet potato? Do you uh, think your family? Everyone, everyone. They all do. You yeah. think you're just the lone wolf on that? Kinda? Also, like, so I love most food. Like, I'm a fat boy at heart, but I also don't like uh, biscuits and gravy. See, I said now it. that's crazy because biscuit, biscuits and gravy is something like I feel like anyone should be able to eat at some point. I mean, I'm not gonna say I sit there and would want to eat biscuits and gravy every day, but like you don't like it at all. Like, nah, dude. Like I just what like, about it? Do you think you don't like? It's so simple. It's like just a biscuit dipped in gravy. Like <laughs> you can take a biscuit and dip it in anything, like chocolate or honey or like cheese, or if you wanted to. I like gravy on most things. Like, I mean, mostly anything, especially if I'm working what and the job the is hell gravy. What is wrong with you? No. Dude, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> there's something about the biscuits and the gravy. Like, I can't even explain why I don't like it. Yeah. It's, it's one of those unfortunate things. Like, nah, it is one of those unfortunate things. We all we all have some of those things, though. It's nah, it's It is what it is. That's, that's, that's an interesting one, the biscuits and gravy. That's like saying you don't like, uh, let's just say, salt and pepper in my mind uh, but yeah, i love salt and yeah, pepper. i mean dude put that on anything <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, i put biscuits and gravy on anything no i'm just <laughs> biscuits and gravy on my tuna on my cereal Sandwich. on my tacos got biscuits and gravy on the side nah we ain't, we ain't that crazy on the cob but i was gonna say earlier one of the related to some of the ways that um people make money when i was in high school i don't know if you remember I made a lot of money at the beginning of high school, like freshman year, selling condoms, like straight up. Do you remember that? <laughs> nah, I don't. Dude, I had friends that were like grimy and would like go to stores and just like st they were sticky fingered and would steal shit. And they would go to one of our local stores. I'm not going to say because I ain't trying to like, you know, even though it's been a while, I ain't trying to do all that. And I'm not going to say who it was, but they would go in there and they would steal like condoms because they would sell them for like. It, it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was like $9 for like a three pack at the time of condoms. And like, no teenager had that much money for some safe sex, latex. So my friends, and we were in high school, they would steal them. And then I would sell them for like a dollar a piece sometimes. And they would just tell me to like give them some of the money because they just got them for free. And I made a lot of money doing that. If you're watching this podcast and I sold you some, you might get a kick out of that because I don't even know. There were a lot of people that there are a lot of people that like I catch up with till to this day that like I'll, they'll bring that up. They'll be like, remember, you used to sell condoms. And I was like, I literally would if they'd be like, you got like two like and it was like when I <laughs> Yo, man, you got that latex <laughs> when, they got the, when they got the flavored ones I, and people went nuts for the flavored ones and like just wanted them. It was like, no, but they always sold out. And it was crazy, though, like I, I realizing at the time, like nobody wanted to buy them like because my friends started stealing them not to sell them but because they wanted them they didn't like steal them to like sell them they stole them because like they were both they were young kids they were too embarrassed to buy them and they were like too um poor to like be able to buy them or they're, they're yeah, just too, trying to get some but yeah, they, they just safely. wanted they wanted them yeah but like and they knew they needed them and they knew they were they're about to get some anyway so yeah, like, they're like damn man shorty they, been hitting like, my line all crazy like yeah no for yeah, real yeah. and it was just like when you're a kid that's like the world because there's nothing else going on you don't have a job and all that and back like, when we had like t9 texting and shit that too yeah yeah that was literally back then too people didn't have iphones even it was like no smartphones but um, yeah man they would like steal them because like you're always told that you can get them for free from certain places but it's really hard to find those places sometimes when you're a kid and you don't just like have a car especially when you're like 14 15 16 you know but yeah i would sell them at school and a lot of people knew me for that at first it's uh, actually really funny and i did make money from doing it because you know my friends would get them for free and they gave them to me and one time i got um i started buying things on ebay and then i got a pack of i think it was like 90 i started like flipping them basically i you know instead Dang. of getting them for free i would just get like packs of like Ver big variety packs they come in like big ebay bags like <laughs> the you know, big ones the like the the one the 18 by or 16 by 16 you know whatever and like i didn't really even use those because i was like ordering them off the internet i was like i don't really trust these because i'm buying them off the internet and they're not coming from a store so i was like i'm not gonna use these ones at all but like i, I did sell them but yeah yeah we, at least opened one up and filled it with water to check right <laughs> i no, i did actually yeah no we we would check them yeah we checked them definitely yeah, yeah. i'm not even gonna lie like no we did for sure and no one the variety pack i got had like glow in the dark ones even i thought that was hilarious so like we, we the really <laughs> weird ones like that we had to like open them up and like just look at them because they were so we were kids and we were just like what the fuck is a glow in the dark condom and they were we like 
we were like four like teenagers in the room <laughs> we opened this glow in the dark thing and like we like turned the light off and looked at it like what the hell like, hey baby you trying to have some alien sex <laughs> <laughs> no i know that's kind of like a crazy story i guess but hey it's that's like one of my few interesting ones though and it, it's a funny one to think about i tell you that was hilarious man but no like uh yeah, we got we got a few friends that, that definitely that you you were friends with at the time that would like Jordan, you know, remember Jordan? Like, oh yeah, yeah Jordan, yeah. redhead. Yeah, Jordan. yeah, Jordan, redhead Jordan. Yeah, he. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure he. I'm pretty sure he would get them from me too. Yeah, and just like, you know, a lot of people would. I'm not trying to put anyone on blast now. I mean, hey, we're not. That's a long time ago, but that shit was hilarious, man. Like how people come up to me and mention that to me. I'm just like, dude, I like forgot I did that, but now it's like a handful of people have. So I'm like. Yeah, I guess I was that kid, that kid that did that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, did you have any like funny up. ways that you ever made money or have ever, or like what's the worst, what's the like worst thing you've had to do, the shittiest way you've had to make money, would you say, or something like that? You shittiest know? way I've had to make money. Yeah, like if, if you had to say anything, come to Man, mind. I worked at this paper plant that I got treated like shit at. I, I mean, I didn't really like that, but I've... I, I really haven't gone out of my way too much. I tried to invest in Dogecoin, but I was a little bit late. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, psh, lost 50 bucks. But did it even come back up at all? Like, Dogecoin, did it even come back up at all? Uh, I mean, it's sitting at like point however many zero, like oh. one, instead of point two, three. I got you. I wasn't sure if it, yeah, if it ever went back up to like anything significant. Uh, I mean, my dad made a little bit of money off of it. But That's good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Not bad. No, that's good. That's great. Dude, I just wish I would have bought Bitcoin back in the day. I, had I know, buddy. dude. That would have been awesome. Like, for real. Like, it's just... Oh, man. So, that's, like, one thing. I just wish I knew more about technology back then. My family didn't know shit yeah. like, about anything investing-wise. They yeah. still don't, but, like, I do. They're like, I, you know, it's way too late. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like watching the market every once in a while, but it's... Nah. I like working. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind. Know. I don't mind it. I like I like working and then having things to do when I'm. I like looking forward. I like having things to look forward to. I feel like if I didn't work, I wouldn't have anything to look forward to as much. I would be like more so just kind of floating, floating around, looking for things to do. I mean, that's what I like doing though. But like in the water, like you, you take a boat or something. Like even just the kayak. Most definitely. Do you have a, a a really fun kayaking experience or like water related experience that comes to mind with that being said? you want to talk about oh yeah uh the name of the uh, uh well it's uh it's more of a creek it's not quite so a river but it's the white canning uh white can white water canning creek is what it's called okay yep. so white water canning creek dude um it's beautiful out there you know we uh, put our kayaks in the water after dropping the truck off. I think it was like 10 miles or something down the way. And on the river, it bends. And so it's like a 14-mile trip. But So we were going down, and this is the first time I'd been on it in a really long time. And so I kind of forgot how to read the river. Because <laughs> yeah. like there's a bunch of uh, boulders and stuff in the water. And so uh, oh my gosh. there's, there's, I dude, there's I a lot of that white water, so you know sorry to interrupt i just i listen to so many when i started streaming i started like off streaming like stories of like this and that gone wrong and it was like cave exploring gone wrong whitewater rafting gone wrong and so i'm just like getting all these the same mental images you get from that it's like ah, oh, i'm having flashbacks to that story <laughs> right <laughs> but yeah. keep continue i'm sorry to cut you off i was actually oh my bad i'm gonna get a truly real quick do you all mind right. do you want one oh, are yeah. you good yeah surprise me with the flavor i got you bro yep Sounds good. Yeah. Hey, keep them entertained while I'm gone, though. Um. Y'all ever, uh. Man, put on the spot like that. So, there's this one time when Karaku saved my life. No, 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 not that. Have y'all ever gone to the zoo? Nah, nah. nah. I know. Like, man, I'm bad at this. Uh, uh there you are. Oh, uh, which one? Which one do you want? Uh, I'll try this one. 
I do like me my mango. Awesome. What did you and the viewers talk about while I was gone? Um, a lot of confusion. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's how it always is here at Acid Switch. We don't really know what's going on, but uh, we keep it we keep it rolling. Oh yeah, but you, so your story about whitewater rafting. Oh um, yeah. So we we're going down, dude. I kept on slamming into these rocks because like the water is all wavy and whatnot. No. Uh, like I don't know. We we were way too drunk to be starting off, but. Anyways, we're slamming in the rocks a little bit, getting over, and my friends, uh, so we get to this point where there's this log jam, there's a bunch of logs here, a bunch of logs here, and the river, there's only like one kind of narrow pathway to go through, right? And so they're all freaking out about it, and they're like, <laughs> like, they, they kayak a lot, you know? And, uh, I was like, oh shit, man, I don't know if I'm about it, I ain't trying to go under, which I gotta sit on top of kayak, so I, I should oh. I, sh I, sh I shouldn't have pushed out, but, um, regardless, uh, yeah, I pulled my kayak on the side. I was going to try to carry it over, but. <laughs> I pulled my kayak out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I pulled my kayak out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. pulled my kayak out. <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, dude, I got another story about <laughs> the bartender wanted to see my wiener. She's like 40 years old. <laughs> 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 Real shithole establishment, dude. I was real fucking drunk. The bartender. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause I, I, I told her, uh, I told her that my Indian name, which was given to me by uh, my friend, was Nine Inch Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and so she has, she said, prove it then. And I said, all right, dude. I was wasted, so I didn't even think about titties first. Oh, that's one of the most embarrassing times I've had. <laughs> Funny though. That, that's that is hilarious. I'm gonna ask another viewer question. Let's see. Let's see what I got here. All right. What do you think about? Hey, this is the perfect question for you. Yep. This is from my boy Egypt. Shout out to Egypt if you're watching this. He What's up, has Egypt? commented on most of my videos, and he is a longtime friend of mine as well. You met him too. Yeah, uh, it's Dell. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think about space? <laughs> What do I think about Mr. Space? Spaceman Dan? Oh, what, do about, what do you think of what do you think about space? I, I like that question because um wait, wait, I just had that podcast with Dominique. Uh with, or god damn it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But it's yeah, Dominique Sway he said his own name in here. Yeah, Swaby. I didn't want to say his government, but I forgot that he did say yeah, he said his last name and I had to cut it out. That's what it, that's what it was. And uh but yeah, with Swavy though. Um but he was talking about flat earth um i was asking him about hollow earth he didn't think the earth was hollow which i was uh, I surprised would love, i would love to believe that and uh yeah that's what i'm saying that's what i was saying too but um man what's your thoughts on space though on space yeah i think it's a beautiful crazy place man like the uh, thing about space have you seen those new pictures that the james webb space telescope uh, put out of course we should pull that up actually oh yeah dude uh pull it up on the nasa website too they got the high-res version you can zoom in so far. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, you should definitely take a look at that. I like, I like the ideas of space. I like the ideas that there are things out there. I don't really think that much about aliens and stuff. I just like to think about the, I guess, the chemical reactions and, like, things, I don't know, and just how far away stuff is from each other and, like, how monstrous certain things are. It's all cool. It's just really cool, man. You see the ones that like uh, look like a star? They got like those uh, the sides coming out of it. Yeah. yeah. So those ones there, those ones are actually stars. But the ones that are just those glowing bulbs, those are uh, those are galaxies. Because the galaxies have so much light that it just forms into looking like that dimmer uh, side of thing. But, I mean, yeah, there's, it, space is crazy, it's fast, and with unlimited possibilities for everything that's possible. It's yeah. A, like, here, yes, yeah, go ahead and zoom into some parts of it and let's look around if you like. Uh, oh, do you, you need to? Yep. Yeah, gotta push control. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh, yes, indeed. But now it's really crazy. Like that small section has so much in it. Oh, right. Wait. 
Like, look at all that. Yeah, that's the whole image. Like, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Look at all those little dots in there. And this is, like, some of the oldest light in, like, the universe, you know? Mm hmm. I mean, just traveling to us from just for it to get here. Of light years yeah. away. Like, you wonder, like, yo, how much of it's still there? How, like, what is going on? Yeah. Right, like, what if this one right here crashed into that one right there? Wouldn't that be nuts? Yeah. yeah or, like, these two crashed, collided? Like, I mean, you know how we're on course uh, right. to crash into the Andromeda galaxy, right? I, I don't know shit about oh, that. No <laughs> I don't shit. know shit about nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so there's this uh, Andromeda galaxy, and it's not too far away from us. And we're definitely, uh, our gravitational fields are pulling each other. Yeah. It'll be real crazy. I mean, we won't be alive for it because it's going to yeah. be in billions of years from now. Right. But imagine, like, being, like, a interplanetary and watching that go down. Yeah. That would be the craziest yeah. fireworks show ever, I'd imagine. Oh, for sure. For sure. No, that picture is really interesting. You want to zoom out again real quick? I just want to take a look at the, oh, yeah. Yeah. the, the whole thing. I mean, that's just, like, a, it's just got so much in it. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. Dude, wow it's, it's crazy amazing. how like space will like curve around like that too mm -hmm. like, i'm curious to know because like i mean i haven't read much about it but i'm curious to know if these two are also these two cause, like you see how symmetrical it is yeah but they're just like lens through space right because some of these um anomalies that will that we see on this picture aren't aren't actually what's going on it's more like just lens stuff and like reflection stuff going on like the lines coming off of the stars i think i've heard are just more like what's going on with the lenses because yeah. those stars are like blocking light from other stars and like because of the way that it like picks it up it's just like not all of it is literally happening basically some of it is like because of the way the picture was taken from what i've listened to on like other podcasts and stuff but yeah that's really really cool it's, it's weird uh Oh my gosh, man. Yeah. I was going to go into something with uh, Oh no, you're good. Yeah. This is really yeah. fascinating, though. It really is. Yeah. I like that question. Thank you, Egypt. You know, hotels yeah, have smoking charts. Oh, you, you clicked know, on TikTok. I would be the one to oh, tell no. you. I was probably... You're there good. Go. You are good. Oh, you gotta... You're good. You, um, thousands okay. and thousands don't, of... Okay, don't... Don't... don't yeah, yeah, just yeah. stop. Okay, yeah, click, okay. click on the picture. Yeah. And then oh. just slide it over. What did no, I move? You're moving the TikTok panel, I think. Oh man. I mean, no, it's cool. I it wasn't, or yeah, I don't even know if that's what it was. It's all it. I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Yeah. No, it's it's all good. But um, another viewer question, uh, MC Back Talk asked, do you feel like any Disney Pixar movies are underrated, uh, at all? Do you think any are? Yeah, are, are any are underrated? He thinks The Lion King two is is underrated. I think he said because of like the main character's story just being a bit underrated it's like i think he liked the character's story just they put it together well and he feels like no one really paid attention to it at the time or maybe didn't give it enough attention do I you feel like any are underrated or maybe some characters are underrated in certain movies you know the all? movie i think is underrated what's that lilo and stitch oh hell yeah dude <laughs> such a fantastic movie this alien it's, creature comes from outer space and dude. lands in this hawaiian girl's backyard pretty much i love this on stage oh yeah <laughs> that's amazing it's absolutely amazing ohana means family <laughs> like dude no it's got so many moments i saw like what was that meme it was like uh lilo is like telling stitch when he's like leaving like she's like good you can leave everybody i care about always leaves and i was like dude i feel like she did actually say something like that in the she movie did. that shit's crazy bro because yeah, her dad left and stuff yeah. and like she's just with her sister and, like dude yeah. it's just like so much real stuff yeah like they're orphans bro they're orphans they're like trying to make it in hawaii where like it's definitely not that easy to get by i would um, say ten dollars like, for a gallon of milk it's expensive it's so expensive in hawaii <laughs> like for real and then stitch comes down and just makes everyone's life way better yeah I, stitch, that, and stitch's life becomes better and he becomes a good person see i love movies where like the, per the main character becomes a good person they don't where they're like doubting their self for being a good person and then they become a good person or they realize they were a good person all along even that's like oh my heart <laughs> it's definitely heartwarming yeah that's yeah. for sure 
Those heartfelt things. Yeah, drink to that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you, you know what a lot of people don't like, but I I am fascinated with. What's that? Cicadas. Cicadas. Why is that? Dude, I love cicadas. They're fun. Like they are fascinating. I mean, yeah. If you're just hanging around, you know, and you pick one up, you put them on your hat or your shoulder or whatever. Yeah. They'll just chill. They yeah. make a lot of noise. Like, and oh, yeah. people are like intimidated as hell by them. Like, I picked one up a few well a few times yeah i was about to say one time but i've picked one up a few times like but i've picked one up like in front of people before and like they like freak out sometimes they're like oh my god what is that like oh don't don't touch it or like you know <laughs> but it's it's, okay to they do. really are like kind of harmless they just make a lot of noise i was actually in my back on my back porch uh just watching my dogs and like just chilling and i heard a cicada and then i like uh, it like flew kind of like into the base of my porch and uh like hit the sidewalk below and a bird that must have, I'm guessing, I'm guessing been chasing it, just came and like, gr like just oh, grabbed no. it. And it was the Poor bird guy. was like the the cicada was like the size of the bird's head. So I was just like, dang, this bird's really about to just take the cicada somewhere and like rip it apart and like eat it. But <laughs> like, no, it was crazy to see because I heard the cicada and I like I heard it hit the wall and then it fell and then a bird just went like, and, like grabbed it. But no, they're like they're interesting creatures for sure. I think about them a lot because you see their shells everywhere here in the Midwest. So I just feel bad because he lived for 17 years underground before he emerged <laughs> just to get eaten by a bird. <laughs> like, yeah, his first yeah. years over over uh, over the grass for real. Oh my gosh. It is crazy that they lived that long underground. Imagine like being in solitary confinement for 17 years, and then you get yeah. to live one. What if humans, yeah, weren't able to be in sunlight for 17 years, and then when they turned 18, they were able to be their skin was hardened enough for them to be in sunlight? I mean, it. I'm sure the world would be a safer place because that means we basically live underground, and then we. I mean, we'd be the cicada, we'd come underground, we live underground, we'd come out after 17 years, and then we'd have fully developed underground, so we would just be out here, like, doing human shit at that rate, so it'd probably be, I don't know, bad shit, but I don't know, that'd be interesting. I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, we wouldn't live in the ground, I'm sure we'd live underground, like, we'd have civilization in, in this speculative universe I'm, I'm describing, I suppose. But, um, have you no, ever seen an anime called Gurren Lagan? Mm -mm. So basically, like, there's a bunch of civilizations that are living underground, you know? And they're, cool. uh, it starts with this kid, you know, and like he digs tunnels for a living. He's just real humble kid, and he's got this older, fi uh, fit brother like figure in his life, you know? Yeah. And that kid's trying to, um, break out from underground because he's like, my dad told me that there was a that there was a world above us where there's a light in the sky and everything's beautiful and that's crazy. Uh, everybody was trying to doubt him because like the king was like, "No, you're staying in here and we're doing things my way." So they ended up uh they were farming pigs down there and so the kids stirred everything up and then they went around the this like staircase kind of thing up to the top. And they uh. They didn't break through. There's a so there's giant mechs on top, you know, like oh. big old robots and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're fighting each other. Okay. And so like it's super dangerous up there because there's this uh. They're part of like this anti-spiral type of uh organization because mm. they're trying to bring chaos to the universe, mm. and basically they're uh all fighting up there and so um, they run into this group of people because they're freaking out. You know, it's just the guy and the kid. They run in this group of people and they're all fighting these mechs, you know? And they got like big old sniper rifles and they end up acquiring some ships and stuff. Huh. And dude, it's crazy. Cause it ends with them going to outer space, but that idea of living underground, yeah, yeah. coming to the surface, and then having an entire ship that goes into outer space, like, that'd be crazy. Yeah, if That's you lived lot. your life yeah. underground and then you learned about space. Face? oh my god <laughs> right. i didn't even think about it that way like geez yeah. i just thought this cave was everything yeah <laughs> and then you're like oh there's what <laughs> no i couldn't imagine like yeah how people um there's like stories of people like keeping their kids held up in their house you know like 
Just locked that, in the basement. Locked in the basement type stuff. I was yeah. thinking about it. I think about that kind of stuff with that normally. Like, damn, they learned about space probably as an adult or like whatever else. But that, yeah, it's an interesting way to look at that for sure. For sure. Yeah. No, like the yeah the cicada that's funny all all that from the cicada <laughs> no yeah if, like if humans were a weird species of like specul in a speculative evolu evolution world you know what speculative evolution kind of is it's just like speculating what evolution would have taken place if it didn't take place the way it did oh so it's, it's like different like origins yeah and stuff. there's like youtube videos where it's like speculative evolution and it's like a planet like earth where instead of like basically like what if mammals never existed oh and shit. then it's like it's like there's like really good illustrations though i should pull some up on it honestly um yeah. but yeah like uh, i'll probably just do a youtube video about it so stay tuned for that but um because actually yeah i do have one in my playlist i wanted to go over with y'all but um yeah there's really good illustrations of like you know humanoid creatures that like if frogs evolved into this and then this evolved into a humanoid creature like what it would look like and i just i think that stuff's kind of cool that to is think about. pretty it's like uh it could it could play into alien also all aliens also and how evolution takes place on other planets you know because it doesn't have to necessarily take place on earth it can be fictional it could be real somewhere we don't know do you remember those books as a kid uh like the animorphs or something like that yes. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. like where all those people just changed into different animals yeah I don't, I don't know if i read any but i always saw the covers oh yeah it's been a long time i don't really remember too much but yeah, I don't see. I know I didn't read those. I didn't really, really read any interesting books, so that's that's probably why I don't like to read. Um, yeah. But yeah, that the cicada question. I think was that that thing that was our last viewer question, or no? Excuse me, not the cicada question. What am I talking about? The um, Pixar uh, Pixar movie question. Oh, that's where, that's where we started at. <laughs> yeah, how did we get to cicadas from there? We were talking about. I don't know. It probably was just like a. It was a branching off of that. I can't. It can't exactly map it out. Um, I do have other podcast topics though. Um, I was listening to the, to another podcast the other day while I was working, and let's see. They were talking. They they. I don't remember what they were talking about. Honestly, I don't remember anything. You guys ever. Uh, I'm just here. It's out the we're window. here on the cob. My brain's on the cob. Like li we're living life on the cob. It's live or die. Live. Check it out. Live on the cob. It's or die on the cob. It's live on the. Nah. Coming to a mer <laughs> merchandising center near you. <laughs> Coming to iTunes. Nah. Oh, uh, I, I was gonna say, see this house. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, let's see. No, I was gonna. I don't remember what they were talking about, but they were, they mentioned at one point that uh, religion is like a game with DLC. You know what I mean? Like like. Like a game with down downloadable content yeah. so it's like you know you you start off as like that religion and then you kind of level up maybe it's not dlc like you're purchasing it but like you um level up to acquire certain perks in video games so you you level up <laughs> you're starting off you're like a, let's say a, a, a christian you're leveling up you start off with your praise and worship and then you you level up to like the speaking in tongues at some point if you're into that kind of christianity yeah, so you yeah. know what I mean? Like each one is kind of like you get different perks according to like your character. I mean, that's a lot of things in life, but it's my... like you're a mage or like a yeah, 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 like exactly. A archer or something. In, in a way, like it's like oh, you're you're you know Christian, then your weapon <laughs> is the Bible. <laughs> you bastard! Just yeah, slapping him with the Bible. But, but no, I guess it won't leave bruises. You're like your your attributes are like your you know your commandments or your rules, and I just thought that was kind of an interesting idea. I really did. Um, you know the like, craziest religion I've ever heard of? What's that? Pastafarianism. Pastafarianism. What's that? You never heard of it? I don't know what it is. So basically. There's the flying spaghetti monster in the sky. Oh, the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. Dude, mean, I want to get that tattooed on me, the flying spaghetti monster. I love that. Uh, did, do you know anything about the heaven and hell? Not, so, in, not in Pastafarianism. Please enlighten me. When you go to heaven, there's a beer volcano and a stripper factory. It, it, <laughs> in <laughs> Pastafarianism? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you pray to the flying spaghetti monster. He created the day... <laughs> Or he created the earth in five days and then gave up because he was drunk the whole time. <laughs> and, uh, I almost spit out my drink just now. That's hilarious. Yeah. But do you know what the hell's like? 
What it's is a beer it? volcano in a stripper factory. <laughs> <laughs> but the beer's all warm and stale, and all the strippers have STDs. <laughs> Oh, man, that's so funny. Dude, pasta firing. That's hilarious. No, I've heard of the flying... What was the flying spaghetti monster? It was from South Park, I think, is when they first mentioned it. And then they illust they, they put it in, um like, an episode of Futurama. Yep. And they, they didn't call it by name, but they it was an episode about evolution. Um, It was the episode of Futurama where they... um. They're talking about evolution, like, like they're, they're, they're trying people. to prove evolution or something, and then they go to a planet. And the professor puts nanobots in a puddle, and the, the nanobots evolve. And they um, evolve through history, but very rapidly in the course of like a day, and then they evolve to like human civilization type of robots and all that, but just from like a puddle, and they evolve themselves. And then, yeah, they uh, <laughs> they 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 just do a whole thing about like, was it by um the what is it by like the design or what was it but was it like evolution by design or was it just evolution you know and it was it was that kind of thing because the professor was the one who put the robots in the puddle so it wasn't just the robots evolving it was like the professor put them there was the idea um like, is there a creator type of thing yeah yeah just yeah. like it, it was a it's good it was one of the later episodes of futurama which like i didn't like as much as some of the earlier ones but like which i heard that they're coming out with more i believe with all the original cast I think that's what it, I heard. No, it was confirmed yeah. because uh, Bender, uh, what's the guy's name again? Do you remember? Oh, uh, it's John something. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Well, anyways, yeah. yeah, he he wasn't about it because he's like, I don't know if he th like was going off a of Bender makes the show, but like, I mean, Bet Bender does kind of make the show a little bit, you know. I mean, I mean yeah. without Bender tying everything together and like, John DiMaggio, yeah, yeah John DiMaggio. Yeah, he he wasn't gonna agree to the contract at first. Yeah, so. he wanted the bag. Oh hell yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I mean, he deserves it. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, he he kills it. Every character he does, he's like the main character, like in everything. Like he's like his voice stands out, and he he's like got a unique ass voice. He's played like black characters, white characters. Bender's a robot, so he has no race, obviously. Like he's Chrome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and like uh, in the alternate universe, he was gold because he like flipped a coin. If you remember that episode, yeah, I love Futurama. I do remember that. I one. could talk about Futurama for like a whole podcast of it. But yeah, that the one that was about the evolution and whatnot. That was pretty good too. I like that. Where yeah and then they the flying that's what we were talking about the flying spaghetti monster yeah the flying spaghetti monster comes in at the end for a cameo because they were talking about um i can't like you know um like the design the, uh, the heavenly design or what i can't remember the exact terminology for that but like something with design in it um, it's interesting how the uh flying spaghetti monster came about because there was just a bunch of college students and they're like and i wonder how we can get out of math tests on friday or something like that you know yeah and because they i mean i imagine they might have taken a religion class and they're like how hard is it to get uh like classified like a classifiable religion kind of thing yeah. you know and so uh yeah they went and did it and they uh every friday is a holiday and they didn't have to take tests nice <laughs> yeah it's kind of crazy if, if you could think of a concept. religion what would you think of if you could just think of one on the spot like that I'm not on the spot, I guess, but you are on the spot right now. Think of one. On the spot right now. Oh, right now. Well, so there's a <laughs> there's a giant pizza. I don't know I'm hungry. I'm, 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 I, I got I got a fat kid inside of me. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I'm the same way. Um, no, I yeah. I, if I had a religion, I, it would definitely it'd be food related. It'd be, it'd be if I thought of one like that. I don't really know what the rules of the flying spaghetti monster are. I just know what like the like I guess the. The deity the flying spaghetti monster and i i now know that i'm aware of the heaven and hell which are basically the same thing which is the, the bottom hey. one sucks though dude yeah Fucking no it does suck warm beer stale and strippers with stds that just sounds yeah yeah interesting though yeah it is interesting it is an interesting concept i have to learn more about this religion uh yeah i'm not i'm not sure what like the actual rule i mean yeah but, but no I, Flying spaghetti monster. I, I have thought about getting a tattoo of it. I think that's a funny ass idea. Well, yeah. Dude, um, the weddings are cool too. Everybody dresses like pirates. Really? Yeah. Interesting. 
that, that I couldn't even like imagine that. That'd be weird. It'd be weird as hell. You know the craziest concept that's been on my mind lately. Speaking of pirates, is uh, remember when Johnny Depp had that compass in his hand? Compass the. Yeah, when he was Jack Sparrow. Like a tattoo, or, or what? No, like mean? he had that compass, like. Uh, oh, and it would like point him to what he wanted. But when he held it, it was always spinning. Yeah. Hey, what do you What do you think that compass would point you towards? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. I like that. I like that question. Um, if I had the Jack Sparrow, uh, and it just it was it like pointing at what he wanted. Was that it? Like what he just like what his heart wanted, or For was or was it like what he needed? It, it's, it's what you want. It was what you want. Okay. Yeah, and that's why I was spinning for him. But when that other guy took it, it pointed straight towards, uh, straight towards the girl. You know, <laughs> man, I don't even know. Like, not even trying to be like cheesy. I feel like it would just like point me like at this monitor, <laughs> like at this, because it would be hey. like telling me like you want to create content. Because I, I literally think that's what it would like do. It'd be like go to your studio and like it would be pointing like at this webcam. Oh, yeah. um, most of the time, anyway. Otherwise, maybe like. My wife, uh, one of my pets, because I think like when one of my pets comes to my mind, I'll like instantly like get up. Cause it's like a daily thing where I have to like go through my each pet, my mental checklist, and make sure they got everything. So it, if it was like that specific, then yeah. Otherwise, I if it because like Jack Sparrow, it just kept spinning. So I don't know what that means because I don't know what he. I don't. I, I can't remember what he ended up like. Go, like what it ended up leading him to because i think at the end of it i don't even know it didn't really end because they were going to continue it but i haven't seen like the later ones i only really remember like the first three and I, it's been a while since i've seen them but um that's a good question though i like that question i gotta ask that to somebody else that's a that's a, that's a great one yeah. do you have a do you have anything in mind for that that you would say i got like, this awful problem where i think it would keep on spinning yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah no i, I just Maybe that's I just have, a, maybe no for a lot of maybe for a lot of people it like would just keep on spinning like honestly because that's like what I'm saying like I'm just like I don't really even know like I mean maybe like I'm on it like it put me like tell me what to do if, like be based on what I'm thinking at that moment but otherwise like I don't really know like maybe maybe it would just keep spinning for most people maybe that's uh, it's hard point. it's hard to know what you want you know it is hard to know what you want that's uh, for sure especially, especially when life is so expansive yeah which yeah. i think my biggest problem is which sucks dude commitment issues <laughs> yeah that's uh, yeah yeah well then yeah your compass probably would, still would keep spinning for sure oh yeah it sounds like yeah don't live in arizona missouri texas <laughs> don't want to make a trip down to florida <laughs> Shit. you're not wrong for that though i definitely want to go to those places i just be here Oh, yeah. Dude, Iowa is a real comfortable place to live. It's, it is. It is. It's nice. It's slick. Everything kind of moves a little bit slower. I mean, don't get me wrong, Cedar Rapids is a little bit quick, but when I lived in small town Iowa, ooh, that was some of the best time I've ever had. The people are great. The food is fantastic because everybody gets together and brings mm -hmm. food along with them. And just, oh, man, it's just, it's humble, you know? It's a real good, uh, it's, it's definitely a cultural shift from living in Cedar Rapids, I'll tell you that much. I bet. It's a little bet. bit more tight. But it's like just nice. Like, I don't know. It would be nice. It'd just be nice to get out. Uh, Everybody is family and they're not afraid to tell you if you're fucking up doing something. They're going to they're gonna come at you, you know? Yeah. They're, they're going to they're gonna tell you what you're doing. And I appreciate that. It's, it's nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Everybody keeps each other in check. Otherwise, you're going to end up pretty much on the bulletin board. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it, it's um it's cool that you've traveled a lot i like that most of my friends have traveled a lot. i haven't traveled like that much but I, i've traveled like a little tiny bit but i'm glad that i at least know people who've been to a lot of really interesting places uh like our buddy ethan you know he's been to like poland and the netherlands and all oh that. yeah i'm trying to get him on here man and try oh, to get definitely. his stories about europe and the netherlands and all that that'd be cool he's right. a younger than us even so he's he's he was there like in his more in his party years so he's man he's a he's a cool dude shout out to ethan oh uh, shout out ethan what's up man hell yeah hell yeah I should go throw some up. frisbee yeah hell yeah we should do that sometime for like a vlog honestly like go frisbee golfing i don't really like to go frisbee golfing but like 
I would do it with like y'all for like a vlog or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you could just sit around and uh, ask questions too. Yeah, 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 that too. I'll interview y'all while you frisbee golf. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, something like that though. Something like that. That'd be funny. As far as another podcast topic goes, uh, to rudely segue into another one. No, I'm just saying. Oh, you, you rude <laughs> well, uh, I needed that, but we might, um, we might need a music break. I got, I got to use the restroom. Oh yeah, yeah, we can take a quick break. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right, guys, and we're back from the break. Um, we had a wonderful break. It was <laughs> breathtaking. Oh no, yeah, I'm just kidding. I got a little bit chilly and put on the hoodie though. Um, we stepped outside though, and I'll tell you what. It's a beautiful day here. It is a beautiful day. In eastern Iowa. Yeah, we were chilling on the porch talking about next podcast already, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I, before the break, I think I was going to get into another podcast topic I had. I think. I, dude, I don't remember. But uh, we've already been going for a little while. But um, one of the ones I thought of the other day is like... Uh, I'm not really sure how to put it in words. It was like, it, but you, if anybody understands, I mean, you probably would. Uh, it was just like an idea I think I had while I was working. But it was like, do you think that the people that you do like in your life, like the people in your life that you do like and that you're fond of are just people <laughs> that haven't done you wrong yet? Like, do you think that basically, like, I don't know. Do you think that there's, like, a line where it's, like, the people that you're fond of are just, like, on the ver Like, basically, like, there's no difference between... I, I think it was, like, more the idea... Okay, like, I'm trying I'm trying to remember, like, how I was thinking of it at the time, I guess. Like, do you think that there's a possibility that, like, I guess the people that, like, have done you wrong and the people that have, I guess, done you right or you're cool with are, like, kind of the same... Or they, it's, like, interesting to think that, like, they could have been the same at one point. Like, how somebody that you don't like is somebody that maybe you did like at one point, And all it took was, like, one thing to change that about them. Do you follow me? Yeah, you know, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, people in general, man, like... It's just people in general. It's the idea of people in general and, I guess, like, the difference between liking someone and not liking them. I don't, I don't put myself in too many situations where I rely on somebody else for something to happen kind mm -hmm. of thing. And so... There's not really too many times where I've been done wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> I got that ex like, girlfriend, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, man, I'll, I'll miss you. But, like, that, I mean, it ain't nothing like that. I, I, the only time I've done wrong is when I tried to help out somebody that I completely don't know and got scammed out of $50 because I was trying to be a nice guy. You know? Oh. I mean, but really, uh, I mean... It's like Jeff said when we worked at that flooring store, slinging carpet and, <laughs> and hardwoods, you know. Damn, uh, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like Jeff said. Uh, most people are good. You yeah. just gotta give them the opportunity to be. That's true. That's true. I would say so too. Yeah, it's weird how people will come at you kind of the wrong way, and that will make you not like them sometimes, and uh, it makes you wonder, like, yeah, did they mean to, or were they just having a bad day? But it's just. It's I mean, if I see somebody out there and they're treating somebody else disrespectful, I mean, they might be great to me, but if they're treating somebody else disrespectful, I don't, I don't appreciate that. I mean, right. there, there ain't no reason to be a bad person, you know? Exactly. It's just, That's one of those things too true, yeah, or true too. <clears throat> it's annoying seeing people treating like everybody nicely and then like, like one person differently, like just, or I don't know, just certain people differently. Oh yeah. Not I even. Mean, yeah. I don't know. It's it, it, it is a strange way people navigate though. Like I said, that was just a weird ass question. I kind of thought of while I was working. I was probably in a bad mood or something too. I was probably sitting there thinking about like people I didn't like and like why I don't like them. Probably people that like I didn't want to be with, be around that day or something. And I'm just like, oh, I can't stand this person. Like why, why do I not like this person? I'm like, did they? I'm like, maybe they did this thing that I didn't. And this thing made me not like them. And so, like, maybe I would have liked them if they didn't do that one thing, I guess, is what I was, like, probably getting to. You know what I mean? Like, were they just somebody that I would have otherwise liked that just tripped up and did one thing that made me not like them? 
kind of like going to a restaurant and like you have one bad server i mean maybe mm-hmm. she's having a bad day mm-hmm. i mean i i'll still tilt the bad server if of she's course like, if she seems like she's got something on her mind you of know course I mean? but it's like going to a restaurant and something goes wrong and like you never want to go there again i mean i always give a place at least two shots and yeah and like even if you do see that person there again they're not going to remember you or they're not going to care because they're doing their job Oh, yeah. when you see if a, it's that kind of thing you see like a hundred people a day every day for seven days a week you know it's i mean you're not gonna remember everyone oh yeah no when i was a salesman i had plenty of people come back in the store and i didn't recognize them they they would walk up to me and they would have to like remind me who they were and i mean sometimes i remember people but they always understood like i deal with a lot of people it's like i'm not gonna remember you that you know you know they knew what it was yeah, if you remind me i'll open my drawer pull yeah. out that file and be like oh yeah you got that two-story you right. got three bedrooms that you want to do in curtain yeah. in your kitchen and wood <laughs> jesus you're triggering me so bad right now i fucking hate it dude yeah <laughs> no i can't stand it that's crazy oh man i didn't even think about that before we started this podcast uh, yeah dude, we used to sell flooring while. john and i we used to both be flooring salesmen and he would even go out and measure the people's uh oh, yeah. houses for the flooring and uh, it was a trip working there. Let me tell you what. I'll probably we'll we'll talk about that on a different podcast. I think that would be that could be its own thing because yeah, we could yeah. even there's shit. a lot too. I could try to hit up uh, what did they call him? Um, I forgot his nickname. They called him, but it was like B Rent. You know? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I could try to hit him up on Discord or something and see if he wants to call in even because you know him too. That'd be hilarious if we were just talking about the floor the flooring store you know we're not gonna call by name or nothing but the flooring store. <laughs> it was a, a fun time for sure but man it was like annoying as hell sometimes yeah. around these people these customers damn it but <laughs> america well, just blast Mer- 16 48 so then i started just blasting <laughs> <laughs> But no, man, that's funny. Yeah, didn't even think about that at all before the podcast. Um, let me see here on my other topics. Let's see. I went through my topics and questions. Yeah, man. Um, did you you had a couple of topics, didn't you, for today? Oh yeah. Uh, I was gonna talk about space exploration, which mostly I was um uh, I was I was thinking about when uh I came up with the topic is how far we've came in the technology. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh spacex elon musk you know mm-hmm. i was watching it uh live streamed when he first uh sent that falcon 9 up into space and those yeah. boosters came down and dude when it went into space they're playing that song by david bowie it's uh um <laughs> what was it say uh if i just cut right to it never gonna give you <laughs> we just <laughs> never gonna rick, just you, rick roll to everybody watching <laughs> this i'm not gonna do that don't worry uh yeah, but he's like Master Tom the Space Control. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's Major not. Tom Ma- Major, space, Major Tom. Major does. Tom the Space Control. I've yeah. been something through the door and dun, dun. yeah, 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 yeah. They're playing that, that dude. Up. And next thing you know, you see that Tesla Model S, and it's, or it's not even the Model, Model S. It's, the, uh, it's that sports car that he's got, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it just ejects from the platform and goes into outer space. <laughs> like where's that thing at now that's crazy i saw a tiktok that was saying that like what like that was um staged and it was like fake like no they, way. I, I don't think i don't think it is i i thought the disbelievers the t- i thought the tiktok was funny though because it was there was like a they there was the live stream of the 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 car you're talking about in space and um something caused like a flash and the flash made it look like it was for a split second you could see like studio background or something as though like it was green screened or something and i was like dude that would be hilarious if the whole time he never sent a car to space but he sent all this other stuff to space like (laughs) you know like what what would be the point yeah what would be the point of sending a fake sending the the car to space i i just thought that was kind of funny i maybe there was another point but i thought that was hilarious i'm like well it could i'm like i in the video yeah i guess i get what they're talking about but like he sent so much other stuff to space like and then it's like, oh, maybe I guess maybe they're saying space isn't real or like one of you know, like one of those types of things. Like it's you know, Swavy, like 
you know, not trying to, yeah, you know, like say, you know, talk trash about him, but like what he was saying in the other podcast, like, you know, what if they were saying like what he was saying or whatever, but, but yeah, like, cause I'm not sure if he was saying space was real. I think he was saying that it was like more complicated than that or I, I can't really remember. He has a really interesting way of looking at a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Very, very, he's very decisive though. I will give him that. I like that dude a lot. He's uh, he keeps it real, and he won't like. Yeah, he keeps it real. He's not fake at all. <laughs> that's and that's that's cool about him for sure. Oh yeah. But the the flat Earth stuff is like it's so hard to keep up with some of that. I'm like um, I don't know. I yeah. I just gotta. I I guess I just gotta have him on again and talk to him about it some more. <laughs> Definitely. We'll see about that. We'll see. Um, but now yeah, space is yeah. space is. But what I was gonna say though Very is when them boosters landed yeah. simultaneously. Oh man, dude, they got the biggest lead in all of space technology. Oh my, yeah, the hairs on my arm they're sticking up higher than they can grow. <laughs> yeah, I had a little shed a tear in my eye. I was like, oh man, Elon Musk, and then it panned over to his face. It like switched screens, and like he was over there crying too. And I was like, I feel you, Elon. This is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> No, yeah, that's dope though. Yeah, the, that they did that. Yeah, man. No, they're. Uh, it's interesting to think that it's not just NASA doing it anymore. And like, I think the people that do think that kind of stuff is fake is. Uh, it's interesting to think now that like, yeah, private companies can go to space, and people still think it's not real. Uh, dude, it's so crazy, man. I mean, like, literally, have you ever looked at a big body of water and the horizon drops off? No, not myself, but like I know what you're. I mean, yeah, I, it, I know that's people who've seen the curvature of the that. Earth. Yeah. It's crazy, it's, right? Because it's, like, well, like Swavy in the docu, in the, I must the document in the podcast we made last time. It, we we pulled up a picture on the screen for the for us to see and the viewers, and um, of like what he thought the flat Earth realistically looked like out of some Google images that I pulled up, and he. Did you see that? Did you see that one? I can't remember. You uh, said you saw it. I don't think I saw that okay. far into it. Yeah, no, no, it's cool. It's cool. But like, it was like a flat Earth model with like the moon on one half and like the sun on another half, and like it was just like dark on one half and light on the other. And that's like, I'm sorry if that's not how it works. It would be like the like light casts around shadow most of the time if it's just in an open space. So mm -hmm. like. If it was on a flat plane, that light on that side would just be illuminating the whole plane. It wouldn't illuminate just half of it. And then especially if there's a moon on the other half that is also emitting light, then that light would just join, it would combine with the light of the other half. And so that would make right. sense for like why during the day you see both the sun and the moon sometimes, but like if in, in that model, it would never really be dark anywhere. So. Or if it was dark, if it was dark anywhere, it would be dark everywhere, and there would be no direct sunlight because there couldn't be a light in complete darkness on okay. any part of the plane. It so, a lunar eclipse, or a solar eclipse all the time. It would just, yeah. So I just don't know. I do need to talk to him about that some more, though. I find it fascinating, and I want to know if he, because um, there were like um, points that he brought up that I wanted to um, pull up videos about. Uh, on another podcast so i'm definitely gonna have to do some more investigating into that but i thought about that model yeah and if you it, there's like it's that specific part in that podcast i'll have to put i don't know i'll just put it i'll put a link to the podcast above but uh in in my tags but uh no yeah there that model i just i was thinking about it later on i was like i don't think that model would really work i don't think it'd be dark anywhere i think it would just be light everywhere and there and it would just never be dark but well we'll see we'll see we'll yep. have to I'll have to link up with my boy again and see what he's thinking see what he's thinking about that what are your thoughts on flat earth overall oh, or man. like i guess the yeah the thing just... about flat earth is i hate it because i want to believe in hollow earth <laughs> yeah what are your thoughts on hollow earth like Compared to flat Earth, I guess like more more realistic. Obviously, I, I can't be more realistic with flat Earth because there's those points that like uh, they got two points up here on like the northern hemisphere and then the uh, two or four points in the southern hemisphere. And they're supposed to be access gates, which I 
listened to this book one time as a uh, little Baron Trump's journey. To... Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Actually, yeah, yeah. written in like the 1800s. Yeah, and there's like that conspiracy that it's like it has something to do with Donald Trump and time traveling or something. And yeah, like, because cause his son's name is Baron and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like relate to each other. Like yeah. when when they give the description of the kid, but also uh, th- it turns out that. Which I don't know how much of this is true. I mean, the internet is full of uh, a bunch of gramble. But uh, uh, apparently, Donald Trump's, I don't know if it's his like, grandpa or his great grandpa, was friends with Nikola Tesla. Mm. When this Nikola Tesla died, disappeared, whatever you want to call it, uh, he was building a time machine. Oh. Huh. Yeah, and it's right around the same time the book came out. And the time period that it was based into what if he did build a time machine bro <laughs> yeah i know that's what i'm saying like what dude. if he did and like i don't know i don't really know anything like is that what happened he disappeared well he he died i mean oh I, I don't know too much like if there's a funeral or whatever i'm sure there was yeah but i mean it was around that time he was building a space or a time hey machine. let's just say <laughs> before like probably 40 years ago it was probably easy as hell to fake your death Oh, definitely, dude. dude I mean, like 40, 50 uh, years ago, you could probably fake your death like easy as hell. Like, yeah, just find somebody to print something out on a little piece of plastic, and that's your new ID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My name is uh. You could Daniel get Thomas. anywhere with a fake ID back then. Anywhere, and you could get, you could bring anything with you, anything with you. You could probably even get on an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Real talk, though. No, it's crazy. Cause like, no, like we really don't know what happened. Like certain people in the past, but like, I mean, I don't, I don't. Again, I don't know if that happened, to Nikola Tesla, but that's interesting to think about for sure. You ever hear about that, uh, like airplane that went missing over the Bermuda Triangle and it came out like, however many years later, like it flew out. No, yeah, like so, like it went in, and then like they time traveled, and came back like thirty years later. Like like all it was presumed that this plane went down, was missing. And, uh, How did it come out though? Like, it, what do you mean? Like, like, like when they landed at the airport they went to, they were all the same age and whatnot, and everybody's like, "What the hell?" No it's, way, it's, that did it's, not. Happen. It's a conspiracy, but like, oh, okay. yeah, dude, it's everywhere. Like, like it, it yeah. supposedly happened, yeah. but like, yeah, yeah, there's no explanation for it, type of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those yeah. things that the government would probably hide because people are too scared to know everything about the universe you know yeah 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 like yeah. if it if it did happen then nobody would know about it it's yeah like, i mean it's like roswell yeah. i mean yeah things do happen like that for sure i uh, you know i'm not not crazy. like that exact thing like time travel but i'm saying like yeah like things that you know where the government like hides doesn't want you people to have knowledge about certain things because it'll freak them out and Cause obviously they just admitted like ufo ufos are ufos are ufos you guys it's like no shit oh that's why we call them Hold ufos <laughs> like literally that's why they're called ufos bro like thanks uh-huh. but it's like no i get it it's like they didn't they're they're admitting that they don't know what they are and it's like that's that's cool but it's like that's just like the u.s i mean like, hopefully it's not terrifying though i mean we never know the aspect of it. it's like they don't know what they are i don't know <laughs> the man. government's so strong and powerful but they don't know what they are oh yeah no. <laughs> they just don't know but no, I... Unless Nixon knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It could be another country or something, too. But, like, yeah. that It is interesting how that changes up. But as far as the uh, Hollow Earth goes, um, what are some of your other ideas about Hollow Earth? Like, what do you think um, would exist? Or do you think it's, like, multiple caverns? Or do you think it's, like, the Earth is completely hollowed out? It's uh, like one giant Earth, inside, like, world inside of the Earth. More so giant caverns. That's what, I, that's what I would yeah. think, too. It seems realistic enough because there are already giant caverns where we find giant things. Like, not oh, yeah. giant creatures, but we find, like, giant caverns underground. And, and giant catastrophic events around Earth that happened in our past, you know? Yeah. I mean, people cower off into a cavern. And I don't want to say cower off because, I mean, they, they take shelter, you know? Yeah, they take shelter but, uh, and yeah, they creatures go take shelter. That's why we have certain creatures that live in cave systems that, like, only live in that one cave system. Because, down there. yeah they got separated and that's where they had to stay and there's like fish that only exist in certain caves and other creatures too it's weird how some of those fish like they're uh or like the lizards their skin is translucent i know isn't that crazy 
Yeah, you can see the heartbeat and whatnot. Yeah. It's kind of like those shrimp that you had. I know, yeah. I, I the ghost, He's referring to ghost shrimp. Yeah, ghost shrimp are cool. They're pretty cool. I haven't had ghost shrimp in a couple of years, but I, I would get some if I had a tank for them. I just don't have any tanks that need any. But um, I've thought about lately setting up a, a little uh, coral reef tank with some real coral, you know, oh, yeah. some colorful coral. That'd be cool. Like salt was, water? Or? Salt water, yeah. I was I was watching a documentary about uh, coral on Vice, I think, or something yesterday. And um, yeah, they looked really cool. And I did some research and I already looked up like, because I already keep fish. So I already know like most of the equipment that's needed. But I did a little bit of research and it's really not expensive to set it up. Um, like the equipment that I would need... Um, because I already have most of the equipment already, so like what I would need additionally wouldn't cost very much. It'd be like, like a hundred dollars and plus, plus, well, including the cost of the coral. So that'd be cool to, to keep some coral too. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty trippy. I'm definitely gonna add that to Cedar's Ark, my Cedar's Ark playlist. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for some more Cedar's Ark, some more pet content. I like that out of I was going to say, too, um, have you heard the idea that, oh, well, no, I guess it's not really the idea. I think um, that the person who made Lord of the Rings wrote it about, like, Hollow Earth, and that some of the things within the storyline of Lord of the Rings fit in with Hollow Earth theory. And, like, did have you heard that before? I have. Uh, yeah. I don't remember what the book's called, but I saw, like, an overview of it. Really? It's, yeah. It's uh, it's interesting the theory of hollow earth all those access points you got to sail out there and it's in the middle of a bunch of ice caverns yeah yeah, yeah. as far as it yeah relating to more maybe the more modern uh idea of the hollow earth it would definitely be yeah be interesting to compare but yeah like it's it's, it's funny because it begins with like uh, in the hobbit like it, it all started with a hole in the ground or whatever and uh like the it just being so dark like in middle it's called middle earth you know the where they the their universe takes place in middle earth and it, it it's always rather dark everywhere that they are um i think like at first when you watch it you kind of imagine that it's like in kind of europe you know when you imagine like a london city you imagine it being sort of foggy and like dark dimmer a bunch of stone um, for the buildings that yeah thing. and they, they give you that image but like it, it almost to me translates to like yeah it is like literally in the center of the earth or like you know in some sort of like cavern system um obviously it all starting with a hole in the ground that could be referring to like the hills they live in in the shire but what if it was like literally referring to like a hole in the ground where like light comes through and like that's why it always seems rather dark everywhere and there's like all these mythical creatures that um you know like giants tend to coincide with the flat earth theory um so there's giants in lord of the rings and all those mythical creatures and there's a lot of those like very similar uh the, those characters that would all you'd also find in flat earth not flat earth in hollow earth mythology or is it mythology is it myth yeah i guess it's mythology yeah whatever you call it fantasy mythology it, but um yeah no I, I i saw some tiktoks about that too where they were comparing hollow earth to lord of the rings and i was like dang that's cool dude, you know the craziest thing about hollow earth what's is that? like i think it was like 20 years or maybe like 20 40 years ago there's an ex which <laughs> that's not great but there's an expedition with they paid like forty thousand dollars or something like that to go out and look for the uh port to go into mm -hmm. hollow earth mm -hmm. and uh yeah i mean they didn't find anything it just sounds like a really expensive vacation that they get <laughs> that they got paid to go traveling on <laughs> but uh yeah no it would be, be crazy like referring back to that uh little baron trump book uh, the first society came up on because like uh well he was on the this mountain you know and he was looking for it because he, I think, read about it in the book. And so he went to that area and everybody was talking about the well from where the giant drinks. And uh, he's like, oh, okay, or whatever. Cause, like they were just referring like uh, in a sentence like, oh, like, uh, oh, it doesn't, like uh, something that doesn't exist type of thing. Mm. And um, yeah, so he ended up working his way up the hill and he found this old lady. And she kind of gave him like this idea and he's like oh well 
so the well where the giant drinks you know where it's at then and she's like yeah so she takes him part of the way up he finds his way the rest of the way grabs out his rope climbs down goes through this uh tunnel system and it's like all like everything's carved out and smooth and he goes down there's uh i want to say there's torches on the wall uh, if i remember right and then the first society comes up on it's like these uh creatures and like they don't like the kid at first because like he's human and uh but they they're humanoid but their like skin is clear and whatnot mm. and they always carry uh they have their heart covered so ah. that you can't see their heart beating kind of thing you know yeah. and uh well anyways uh the queen really is into this little baron trump kind of or this little baron trump guy yeah and uh get to the point where they where she shows him his heart and it's got an imperfection in it and uh if you got an imperfection in your heart people like judge you a shit ton and then there's another society and uh I, I forget how that ends there's another society uh everything that they have like all their walls and whatnot are made out of silver oh yeah but they're completely blind and they're completely uh yeah they're completely blind and like, they can talk and whatnot or uh, they might not they, they might be mute too i, don't, huh. I think i think they're right down everything to try to communicate and um but anyways uh yeah, that's about where i left off it's just kind of crazy like uh yeah I, i've seen tiktoks about that a little bit like i it wasn't really as much about the story of it but like it was it did have some pieces of the story in it and uh, it seemed rather interesting and definitely would be intrigued to look up a little bit more about that and we'll have to do that for another video but yeah. that's about all the time we got for today guys i am getting rather tired and it has been a podcast we got yeah. my buddy john with me yeah, I am. make sure to oh wait, where they are they're down below here yeah. make sure to follow subscribe uh to the youtube channel the music channel the twitch catch me live on twitch doing a lot of various crafts chilling artwork and things of that nature and, and uh, uh where can we catch you yeah if you guys got a instagram i'm hamburger underscore tacos uh i got a i got a tiktok i don't really do much with it but it's a slightly documented slightly documented that's yep. right i've seen some of his tiktoks he, he does some funny ass tiktoks <laughs> they're a little bit funny yeah make but, sure to, make sure to follow us both on tiktok um we yeah we need to make some more collabs very soon very Definitely. soon let's do another duel i guess real quick uh i got the orange bay blade i got the other one it's a uh, the blue there. what was that what's that got a name oh it's all in japanese <laughs> i don't know japanese i do love their cartoons though they make food look fantastic Ooh. Oh. Oh. ah